I think integrity ties into my job. You need to be strong enough to do the right thing when no one's looking. Doing something that you know in your heart of hearts is the right thing. Something that you would want somebody else to do for you. You know, if she feels something is not like it should be, or if somebody's being disadvantaged in a certain way, she will, she will, she will put her hand up and say, "Look, you know, I don't agree with that." Whereas maybe some of the others will just sit and not say anything. She's, she will always put her hand up and say, "Look, I don't think this is right, or I disagree with this approach, or whatever." So she's, she's outspoken and she sticks by her guns. I don't think I'd fit in anywhere else. I like problem solving. I like speaking to people, meeting new people, helping people. And I mean, in medicine you can do all of that. Sometimes she's, she's, she's so um, overworked and stressed out, but she never takes it out on the patients. Oh, it's too much patience, it's too much work, never, never. The integrity to my mind is not the not the one big thing, it's the continuous little things that add up to be a pretty spectacular big thing. It means that she doesn't just fold under the challenges, she attempts to address them. And I think honestly that's what we need in, in this country, in, in this world, everywhere. I wouldn't be able to do what I do every day if I saw it as a job. Being a public servant, it's exactly what the second part, you a servant. It's about sacrifice and sometimes you'll have to sacrifice things that you want to do for other people. Even though it's hard, even though it's difficult, just do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. So you'll start to change, whether it's just in your family, in your workspace and then it will spread to your community.